I don't know this. He also didn't know. So that's why I want I want to say it in class here. I'm not sure. But where do you have it from? Yeah, just heard. Hare uh, Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> I hear so many things. But when we sit on the plane here, we can we have to be sure that what we speak is actually very true. So I'm I'm not sure because two three because two three person I spoke, I also called Sankararanya, a senior uh, devotee, Prabhupada disciple, and he he disciple and he he couldn't confirm that something was not correct. But anyway, what's the point of something not being correct with Kodita? He brought the Gor he brought the Gornitai this Gornitai into the compartment in the sleeping wagon in the upper part and he was reasoning so uh, because they might check the deity they might touch them or even they might not understand even they might not understand what is going on so he decided to take a night train and come with the deities and he laid himself down on the same bed and when morning four o'clock the Zellner came and said the pass control he just handed you know he handed the pass down and the guy was checking and gave it back and left and ten minutes later um, the other guy came haben sie etwas zu verzollen whether there's something to, you know, indicate that they're true. And uh, he just made... <laughs> quite loud, he told me that. And the guy left, and Gornitai were safely brought into Switzerland. Jishi Gornitai Ki. So they were... Um, 74, they were installed in Geneva. Um, I don't know many things about the installations, but... but uh, they came to Tüting in 77 and then to Zurich at 81, in the year of 81. And. Oh, yeah, please. Oh, okay. By the way, since I entered this temple, Ramakanta Prabhu extremely inspiring devotee since I know him since 89 now. This I also have heard in a lecture that Guru, pra Guru Karanga Prabhu <coughs> went with the deities in Geneva on a sightseeing tour and showed them Geneva. Sure. It was very personal to them, like wow. if they were personal. Look, look here, Gornitai, here is this house and so on. This is the sp um, Springbrunnen in the Lake of Geneva. So very personally, he showed them the city. I'm sure he didn't tell very me this. <laughs> uh, by the way, he's writing a book about his memoirs, and he will mention that whole Geneva story um, in his book will be very elaborate. He did. First, he didn't want to tell me, actually, really. And then we just talked, talked, and, you know, somehow I told him a little bit my story also. We talked maybe... 60, 80 minutes, something, more than an hour. And then at the end, somehow he said, okay, you know, I'll, I'll tell you the story because his heart got somehow a little bit soft and all the Krishna Gornitai wanted him to speak. First, he really denied it. He argued because he is writing the book, he doesn't want any, you know, like, because if you speak a story or something. Because once I heard in class here, maybe 94 or something, in this room I heard that uh, the Zöllner came and asked, what is up there? Oh, they're just my boys sleeping, the, he said. But I don't believe it because he would have asked, okay, but give me at least a passport. So, you know, see if... If things are going mouse by mouse, it's not way the culture, like ages ago, once you say something, you have such purity of mind that you absorb it and you take it as, you know, uh, you, you never change that. This was the culture at that time, but now the age different, Kali Duke. 
and Konitai came for us who are fallen souls, very fallen souls. If we compare what Mahabharata, those who watch Mahabharata tightly, it's given to us to see what culture means, Mahabharata. You know, you have the book by Krishnadharma, for example. You have the series in the TV, which are, I think, even authorized by Iskon. Um, very high culture, very clean and very straight. And we are faced uh, in Kali uh so much difficulty to accept Gornitai into our hearts. They are here. They are here. We worship them since whoever is joined that many years. And we all face so much uh, difficulty in how to approach the, the properly. You know, we got the instruction to chant by initiation 16 rounds at least. And the one who takes initiation, first, second initiation, he makes his vows and sticks to the vows. An entire dynamic of a lifetime, this is not seen around the corner so easily. Because Kali Yuga mind means Manda Sumanda Mattayo Manda Bhadya Upadrutaha. The Bhagavatam initially uh, describes the Kali Yuga mind as Manda Sumanda, weak, slow, Manda Bhadya Upadruta, always disturbed. The mind is always disturbed. This is the dilemma of our position, especially. Uh, when we allow ourselves, even after initiation, giving our vows to, you know, click on the show which is not meant to be seen. Are you? you know what I mean? Very, very difficult. So Gornitai installing in the heart means to totally dedicate as I said, Switzerland, tough country, those who went to university, or made a, they know what it means to get the program from the, uh, from the outline and then you know, check what I need, the points, and then you have to stick. You have to stick in order to be sure that you get the points, but also that you will pass the test. And our test is... Uh, to be able to remember Krishna at the time of death. And this will be very quickly. I am born 61. I'm now 61 years old. I do not believe, I came here 29, I do not believe how fast the time moves. 10 years, 20, 30 years, 40 years. Another 10, 15, 20 years, I will be tested by the mode of nature, how I'm able to absorb my mind into the uh, name of Krishna, that at the time of death, Prabhupada showed in his uh, ultimate lila, he showed how it is to be done. And <laughs> that we succeed doing that, it's not, a, it's not a cheap game that we can play with Gornitai for their mercy. Mercy is there. We have the story of Chagai and Madai. Everybody knows the story of Chagai and Madai? Chagai and Madai. Madai even attacked Lord Nityananda. And Lord Chaitanya was ready to kill him. But no, no, your purpose is to give that mercy. And he slowed down and actually gave him that mercy. It's given. But the game is not played with just that they give. The game is played completely. And this is the point to develop the ability to accept the meaning of the mercy. That not only the mercy is there to take, but that we take it and that we get it. Ladini karena. Bhakta Ridaye Poshandi, Ladini Shakti, 
the personification of which is Srimati Radharani, that energy hovers over us, just like the radio is tuned with the proper movement. And our proper movement is total dedication. Nam, Smaran, Seva, of course. We come here, we get Seva. Guru is instructing. If we take that as life and soul, immense results will come up. Srila Prabhupada, he got the instruction to print books, and he, he couldn't do it immediately, prepared his whole life. The result, beyond his imagination. This is the nature of the spiritual energy. If we succeed to attract the Ladini potency by our sadhana, sadhachar, by their behavior, things will evolve beyond our expectation. I have a spiritual master who is very dedicated to the holy name. He named me Hare Krishna Das back in 93, and he instructed me to chant Hare Krishna. Um, I have that instruction. I took it. I can only say that much. You apologize when I'm personal. My goal is to prove to anybody who hears the power of the holy name that when we stick to the instruction of Guru, the result will be beyond imagination. Beyond imagination. Not only will we be reinstalled in that Vedic culture, as I said before, but we will conquer the laws of material nature that pull us. And the result is to change from or to, um, what's the word? Umwandeln in English. To transform the power of karma into prema. Karma prema toha vipina lakshan. Laua ara hemajene vipina lakshan. So, Karma, the lust, which has its pure origin in the spiritual world, which is prema. In the fourth chapter, Adilila, verse 29, the purport says, Prabhupada writes in the purport, There is nothing that can exist in this material manifestation that has no real counterpart in the spiritual world. Those who want to read that's very powerful. Atilila 4.29. All material manifestations are expansions of transcendence. So to be strict. There is nothing but prema everywhere. But if it emanates that Ladini, instead of Krishna, it emanates from the heart of the living entity or from the mind, then it turns into karma. And then we are hooked into the intricacies of attraction to worldly things. And we experience misconceptions, I'm man, I'm woman, I'm child, I'm student, whatever, it's all relatively true. But beyond all that is that pure form that Gornitai will give. And this is a higher conception of um, how energy uh, is assimilated by us. Instead of relating it to the world and forcing us to eat stool, I'm sorry, it will turn into nectar and every word, every step, every movement is a dance, a song, and it's a graceful, you know, existence that through the holy name, which is the essence of all, 
that is which is to gain, which, then we can uh, assume a form that is eternal and that we, will allow us to identify us with uh, ultimately with the seva of Shishi Radha and Krishna. There are ample books given by the Goswamis which are meant to be opened by sincere and mature devotees. Even the Bhagavatam, full of nectar, especially 10th canto where it deals with the Panchadaya. There are the five chapters describing the Rasalila. At the end of the Chapter 33, which is the ultimate, there are 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, five chapters. They call Panchadhyaya. And the last verse says, Vikriditam Prachabadhubi Iram Javishno. Vikridita means the pastime. Prachabadhubi by the women of Pracha, which is the origin of the Swarup Shakti. Varup Shakti has chit uh, potency. Uh, anand Swarup Shakti has chit, sat chit ananda, the aspect. And the ananda is represented by the entities who carry that uh, ladini. And these are the Brachuvadibir, Idam Javishnu. Shrad Anmita Anushriniyad. If we hear this, descriptions of the activities of Vishnu Krishna with the Brachabad Hubir. Shrat Anvita, Shrata means faith. If that is done with faith, Shrat Anvita Nushinat Atavarna on describe it. You hear and describe. Bhakti Bhagavati Pratilabhya, you get the bhakti of Krishna. Kamam ritrogam ashu apahinoti achirena dhira. So you get the seva of Krishna, uh, pratilabhya kamam, ritrogam anuharati means the, the rascal of the heart, kam, will be destroyed. Achirena dhira means you become dhira, you become sane. So there is no question of being sane or being sane or being dhira as long as one is haunted by desires for gratifying the senses. Even, even eating, we don't enjoy. Krishna Prasad, we respect Krishna Prasad. It's such a perfect culture. Even the eating, the sleeping, the mating, when exalted devotees meet, they do not enjoy the senses. They engage that power for creating offspring that will be Krishna conscious. So the culture that is beyond the mercy of Gornitai, which should be installed in every heart in total purity, is a perfect culture where the living entity will have no problem in succeeding to subdue any selfish desire. Any selfish desire. And then Things happen, as I said before, beyond one's imagination. And that shraddha, it increases, increases, increases. And one will be, how should I say that? that they, one will be reliable for the mercy of Konitai. Mercy of Konitai is ultimately A reinstallation of our very soul into the play of 
the divine realm where Radha Krishna dominate. Prem ras niras karite aswadan Shri Goranga prem ras niras the essence of prem ras karite aswadan he tastes. This is Lord Goranga's ultimate lect lecture to the world when he sits with Ram Rai and Swarup Damodar in the Gambir and to discuss that play of Radha Krishna. Rag mark bhakti loki karite prachar. He gives that rag, that what he is coming to taste, prem ras niras, the essence, karite aswadan. Rag mark bhakti, he gives the rag. Rag means ishte swarasi ti raga parama vishta teva ved. Ishte swarasi. The ishta is Krishna, the ishta dev. Once ishta means actually desire. Once desired, Dev, we cannot desire, we are given. We can. Ishte swarasike. Swarasike means the natural aptitude of love. Any living entity has a, is looking for love and has an ability to give love. But in the material world, we souls should not exchange, you know, amongst each other. Accepting love. This is called Ashrai uh, and Vishe, the Vibhav. Vibhav, Anubhav, Sattvika, Vyabhichari, uh, um, Staibhav, Rasa, Hayechari, Miri. When the uh, uh, ingredients of Rasa, when they meet with the Staibhav, Staibhav is the internal. Um, constitution of the living entity. You might be a Saka, you might be a parent in the spiritual world, or you might be a aspiring, uh, this is Rupanuga, Rupanuga means uh, a Manjari Bhav. When that Swarasiki Raga means the at, not natural aptitude to love, when that is purified through the holy name, uh, then it becomes totally absorbed. We all like to be totally absorbed in something, isn't it? The child, he doesn't know anything, he's absorbed in play. And when mama comes to finish, you have to go to sleep, he will cry. And this is what is waiting us, a total uh, absorption into the conception and the contemplation of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. This is what Mahaprabhu teaches. And there is no power in the world that can stop you by purity. Purity is the force. This is what Prabhupada established. No power in the world can stop you of sitting down in the Gambir and doing smaran upon the talks that are given through the disciplic succession, what Mahaprabhu is tasting from the Gita Govinda, from uh, books, from great uh, uh, I've got the name. What they are tasting uh, night after night, they are tasting the loving play of the divine, uh, eternal, joy-bringing exchange. And this is what we look in this world amongst each other uh, under actually nasty circumstances. You know, the soul is not meant to have this material body through which he exercises what he actually should. That's what Asiki you know, uh, power, that aptitude to love, he should offer it to Krishna in total purity. Yeah. So no soul is banned. And the purpose of ISKCON, what Prabhupada is giving, Ragmart Bhakti Loki Karite Prachar is nothing else but the ticket 
that you get entrance into the Gambhir. That we can sit and relish through Shravan uh, together with the Parikars of Lord Chaitanya. Then we become like that. We become like that. We will not be excluded. We will be accepted through the power of the Holy Name. It's all in holy name. We have made so much seva and still we are not purified. The holy name, you can do so much seva, but if the chanting is not taken as an absolute uh, <laughs> basis of all things, you can do so much seva you will not realize what is going to be given. This is my conviction after a few years now. Addiction. So eight o'clock is per shot. If there is any question, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yes, please. Thank you very much. It's just something I was reflecting on very powerful things you've said and maybe it's not a properly formed question but um, you emphasized on how to take the mercy of Shishi Gornet that they're giving it and that purity is important and in a way we have to engage in services to them with that state of purity really foregoing our desires our only desire should be to serve them mm and also not resist the purification that comes because sometimes we can be so attached to um, how we want to get purified or mm. sometimes we can resist purification so much. A last sentence? We can resist purification oh, so much. Says, yeah. But they know how to purify us. and yeah. So maybe you could share of how really to get that sense of dedication that you know, you are my Lord and you can handle me in whatever yeah. way I want. Uh, the last words of the Ashrishyava Padara Tampinastumam Adarshanang Marmahatam Korotua, I forgot the rest. But it says that Sri Radha at the end says, You are my Lord in any case. You can trample me or you can make me. This is a very delicate topic and I have not. Uh, so much realization is a difficult question, needs extreme insight, but what I'm sure, what I experience in my Krishna consciousness is, this is a, the easy part of the question to answer. The better we chant, the easier will be the test. You know, the better we chant, this is what I experience, the more I cry, through the chanting, my fortune is that I love night. Even as Carmi spent the night rolling the thing, smoking the thing, watching music or hearing music, night long for years. Then I join, and at night they are active. I love this very much, this fact. My first time I went to a Mongol art, was in Belgium, Govinda Das Merit. I went up to chant at four o'clock, and I sat down, all this chanting, singing. I was realizing I just have to change the sleep instead of after. I sleep before. And I just hear, like music. But I understood philosophically, this is over, music is over. And all that uh, distance, I'm fortunate, because all that, that loving or liking for hearing music, it was fixed on the holy name. Somehow it just worked. And since then, long, long, long ago, I chant at night because it's so ecstatic, simple. You know, it doesn't need any, you just have to sleep before and sleep in Malta that you are not tired because nothing worse than you chant and, you know, it's not nice. So you sleep enough. Also, Srila Prabhupada says, reduce sleeping as long as we are not on the top platform, we should sleep that we do not fall asleep while chanting. But uh, 
This is the easy part of the question. My advice to anybody is to increase all possible uh, ways to cultivate a proper chapa. That Gonitai see, this is like the father who sees his boy, he's endeavoring, studying, studying, studying. If he brings even a bad grade, the father does not mind. But if the boy is lazy, the father may take the stick. You see? This is an easy part. The difficult part is, you know, we see devotees now in Ukraine, they, they are killed or they are injured. You know, how, how to understand these things is very, this is a very high topic. But um, I can say so much that the more we are tested also, the test makes us, when things are not smooth, they make us rather cry to Krishna and long for help and mercy that when things come easily and everything is very nice. <coughs> not, not uh, you know, it depends on many things. One's karma, what is your bank account in life, how much you can draw easily things or how much you have to run to get them. But generally I believe really that when things are tough um, we are urged to cry to Krishna to pray. And when we see Prabhupada's example he had to walk between you know bombs who you know stunk and pass urine on the place where he lived and he had to accept an attack of a crazy person. But we take from that that even very advanced devotees, they take it as Krishna's mercy and never waver in their <coughs> determination to please Guru Goranga to please our, you know, Acharyas, the, go, the six Goswamis, to please Gornitai, something like that. Hare Krishna. Now it's no time for question, time for prasad. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Chai Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Shai Vancha Kalpata Rubiya Shakti Pasindu Biya Eva Cha Patitanam Bhavani so Hare Krishna Prabhu Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna.